This is CBS News, Texas. It is the dominant story tonight, a school shooting exposing a critical hole in insecurity at Dallas ISD. A student shot in the leg in a classroom at Wilmer Hutchins High School this morning. Yeah, another student from the same school is now facing criminal charges. Marvin Hurst taking a much closer look at the looming security questions. We shouldn't even be in this predicament in the first place. I don't know, do I want him to come back or what? I'm praying for the family to the baby who got shot. Mom surviving. Thank you, Jesus. Parents did not filter or waste words when news of a school shooting spread. They said, you know, they said they were shooting, so a bullet can go anywhere. You know, a bullet don't have no name on it. The response at Wilmer Hutchings High School started around 1030 Friday morning. School officials say a student shot another teen in the leg and a teacher disarmed further injury. The teacher um, is a very humble individual um, and he was able to direct the student away from the campus so that he could take care of first the injured student um, and secondly to ensure that the alleged suspect did not enter into the rest of the school building. As parents rushed to the school and officers held the perimeter. So that is obviously the question I have that I don't have an answer for with regard to how did the gun get inside. The district's upper brass realized security was compromised. The school does have metal detectors. Off camera, a student tells us that this whole incident may be about some kind of stolen item. As for the metal detectors, the student tells us when teachers aren't on guard that kids come out of doors like this one over here, even though they have cameras posted up here on campus. I need to point out that DISD has not confirmed that account. We know that there are vulnerabilities. There are so many entrances to schools. Um, so that's one of the areas that the chief will be working with the school to identify those vulnerabilities. Now the long, hard look at a gaping hole. And we're complying with House Bill 3 where we're checking doors. We're making sure they're locked. Uh, we do our own internal audits. The, the TEA has come out and done audits. That doesn't just impact one student at one school. Get your kids out of hut. It affects the safety of a system. Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas.